my name is Sister Geraldine Burns, and I'm the Vice Principal at Bishop Fenwick High School, and I live in Beverly. I was having difficulty breathing. I would go from here upstairs um, on any floor, and I'd have to stop and catch my breath. As the end of the year progressed, I was still losing my breath, and I was having some, um, some pain in my chest sometimes. But those are the only symptoms I had. I went on a trip with my sisters to Washington, D.C. As we were walking around Washington, the same shortness of breath came back again. When I got home, I called the doctor immediately, and she took me that day. She ordered another stress test and another chest scan, but this time she had a cardiologist read it, and he found that the, there was a blockage and that I had probably had a heart attack when I was in Washington. I hung up the phone, and I sat down, and I cried <laughs> because I, it was scary. Traditionally, catheterizations in this country are done through the femoral approach because the femoral artery is a large bore artery. It's easily accessible from the groin. The shot up to the heart is pretty direct. Complications, discomfort, and prolonged bed rest are the downsides to the femoral approach. The radial artery um, is a smaller artery, but it has, you can access it into the heart and the potential complications are less because the artery is small and it's readily accessible for manual pressure if you get any bleeding. You just anesthetize the skin with a teeny little bit of Novocaine and you take a tiny little needle and put it into the radial artery and you thread a very small wire through that and then through that, over that wire is a small catheter which is just a hollow tube. Uh, that just sits in this part of the artery. It it's, gives us access to the artery. Then we take our long catheter and put a wire through that and then advance the wire up from the radial to the brachial artery and around the top to the heart and then thread the catheter over that under x-ray guidance. I really felt different. Um, when I went home the next morning, I live on the second floor and when my sister and I were going up the stairs, she was concerned when I was walking up the stairs to the second floor, but I had no trouble. I have learned to listen to my body and the things that are going on with it and um, to be very conscious of it. It's taken a while for the radial revolution to come to this country, and it's, there's pockets of it around the country so Dr. Waldman and I, about a year ago, said this is clearly a good thing to do. We went to Albany Medical Center and trained in the technique of radial catheterization. It's hard. It is harder to do catheterization interventions from the arm. The approach is more difficult, the angulation is harder, the catheter manipulation is harder. It requires a high, higher level of skill. I think we're really the first community hospital in the state that has embraced it to the degree that we have. It is now our preferred approach to catheterization in this laboratory is to go through the radio. Once you've decided that you're going to do the radio case, you just anesthetize the skin with a teeny little bit of Novocaine and you take a tiny little needle and put it into the radial artery and you thread a very small wire through that and then through that, over that wire is a small catheter, which is just a hollow tube uh, that just sits in this part of the artery. It it's, gives us access to the artery. Then we take our long catheter and put a wire through that and then advance the wire up from the radial to the brachial artery and around the top to the heart and then thread the catheter over that under x-ray guidance. And then using manipulation, we get the catheter to turn into the opening to each of the two major arteries. And then when we're done, we pull the catheter out, pull the sheath out, and put a little pressure device over the teeny hole we made for two hours. It just puts gentle pressure over that. And after those two hours, that comes off. You put a little Band-Aid here, and off you go. There's this great moment in the radial program after uh, fixing someone's heart from the radial where they stand up from the catheterization table and walk out and go sit in a chair. Whereas, you know, a year ago they would lie in bed for 12 hours. The thing that's most amazing about these procedures are the trepidation people have going into them is great and why wouldn't it be? You have no medical background. I say to you, I'm going to put a catheter inside your heart and I'm going to put a stent in. I'm going to... That sounds like that ought to hurt, right? 
And so no matter what you say, it's hard to allay that fear. And then when it's all over, I mean, I've been doing this for 30 years, I'll say, okay, we're done, and they'll say, what? You're kidding me. No, no, we're done, and you know, I'm, I'll see you later. And it's stunning to them to realize how little pain is involved in this if it goes well. Mm -hmm.